Welcome to Bogosox TV. We've got lots of classic and original TV shows. Subscribe now and enjoy the video. Don't dilly dally, don't shilly shally. Come see Sally, Molly, and her little pet Jacko. If you can smoke him. It was a lovely spring day. Ah. And the flowers were beginning to bloom. Ah. Daffodils. Ah. Sally Mally loved ah. daffodils. They were a sure sign that spring was on its way. The flowers reminded Sally Mally of something. Ah. Ah. It was the first day of March. St. David's Day. Let's all celebrate, said Sally Mally excitedly. Jack Daw loved a celebration. And so did Thomas Garado. Jackie Soch didn't mind them either because a celebration meant they were all going to have fun. But first, Sally Mally said, there's a lot of work to do. Come on. Sally Mally and Thomas Caradog went to gather daffodils, while Jack Daw and Jackie Soch went to dig up leeks. Careful. Now then, said Sally Mally, we need to make some leek soup with these. And we need to arrange these flowers in a nice vase. Are you listening? she asked. But were they really listening? Chop, chop, then soup and flowers, said Sally Mally, leaving her little friends to get to work. <coughs> Thomas Curadog wasn't sure which of his friends to help. <coughs> Sally Mally was looking for something, her dressing up box. They were all going to dress up for St. David's Day. Sally Mally could pretend to be anyone she wanted. A pirate, a princess, or even a bear. Um. <laughs> Sally Mally gave her little friends a bit of a surprise. Don't worry, Thomas Caradog, it's only me, Sally Mally said. Sally Mally wondered how they were getting on with the soup and the flowers. Were the daffodils looking nice? Hmm. Jack Daw had put the leeks in the vase. But if the leeks were in the vase, where were the daffodils? Oh no, they'd got it all mixed up. They'd made daffodil soup and put the leeks in the vase. <laughs> You go and choose your St. David's Day costumes from the dressing-up box. I'll sort everything out. <coughs> Sally Mally waited for her friends to come and eat. There was a scary red dragon and a little green and white leek. And, of course, there was a beautiful yellow daff... Well, there was a daffodil. Well done, everyone, said Sally Mally. You all look very nice. Hmm, maybe Jackie Saw hadn't chosen the best costume for eating soup. <laughs> Never mind, Jackie Saw chuckled Sally Mally. You can take your costume off to eat. At last, it was bedtime. What a great St. David's Day they'd had. Good night, said Sally Mally. <coughs> said Jack Daw. <coughs> said Jackie Soch. And <coughs> said Thomas Caradoc. Don't 
chilly shally Come see Sally Molly and her little pet Jackdo If you just walk in when you're out walking It must be Sally Molly and her little pet Jackdo Sally's house is full of laughter All her friends need looking after But she's happy caring for A tiny mouse, a piglet and a little pet Jackdo That must be the post, thought Sally Mally, and she went to get it. What a lovely surprise. Pri Bach had sent her a postcard. Ah. He'd gone on holiday. Hmm. How nice, thought Sally Mally. She hadn't been on holiday for hmm. a very long time. Jack Daw was having fun outside, but then he saw something unusual. He couldn't work out what Sally Mally was doing. Called Jack Daw to Jackie Sock and Thomas Caradog. Jack Daw, Jackie Soch and Thomas Caradog were worried that Sally Mally was packing up and leaving them. Huh. Don't worry, said Sally Mally, comforting them. I'm not going away forever. I'm just going on holiday. Hmm. I'll be back before you know it, she said, and off she went. Sally Mally's little friends didn't know what to do without her. Who would cook their dinner? And who would make sure they were all safely tucked up in bed at night? But then Jack Daw had an idea. He said excitedly. He wanted to go after Sally Mally. to be quiet in case Sally Mally saw them. <coughs> cried Thomas Caradog. He didn't want to be left behind. <coughs> ah, said Sally Mally. Peace and quiet at last. She thought she was all alone. But she wasn't. Sally Mally had no idea she was being followed. Did she? What was that noise? Quick! They had to hide. Luckily, Sally Mally didn't see them. So she carried on without realizing she'd lost some of her camping things. Oh dear, Sally Mally needed these. Before long, Sally Mally found the perfect place to set up camp. She was looking forward to having a quiet evening all by herself. But was that going to happen? Hmm, maybe not. Not if Jackie Zoch, Jack Daw and Thomas Caradog had anything to do about it. Very soon it was supper time. Hmm. But she couldn't find her cooking things. She was quite sure she'd packed them. She was so disappointed. Hmm. Maybe she'd have to go back home. But then she heard a noise. Jack Daw cried Sally Mally happily. Jackie Soch, Thomas Caradog, what are you doing here? Oh, they'd found her cooking things. They were the best friends ever. Sally Mally was so glad that her friends had come along that she invited them to stay the night. What a lovely holiday it had turned out to be. Good night, everyone, said Sally Mally. Said Jack Daw. Said Jackie Soch. And said Thomas Caradoc. Hmm.